Hello everyone, welcome back to Night Ghost 49 as we play Banished, the Colonial Charter. The Forge Awakens, that's this update. We've got issues, we've got things being flagged left and right. Uh, we've got somebody working, making tools right now. So tools, I'm going to just forget about for a minute and just not, not lose my crap. Um, what we do need to do is get more food. Now one thing I've started to do is, look at, the fuel is going down. I'm, I'm sidetracking because I have ADD, apparently. The fuel is going down, but it didn't drop to zero. And we made almost 200 per year. And this made this made 250. So this seems more efficient, but using the reeds would kind of be nice. I could make reed clothes. You know, the survival jackets or whatever? Oh my goodness. We're going backwoods style, ladies and gentlemen. All right, gather is still doing well. Trees are doing... You know, their thing. Actually, it's gone up by 20 a year already. Hunter. We're getting some venison and some duck meat. So he's actually helping out quite a bit. The hunters always pull their weight. Like, seriously. They do a great job. I'm going to go ahead and split this 3 to 3. Oh, and now the fishing dock, or the dock fishery, has been uh, started. We've got enough stuff going on there. So logs. Logs. Everywhere there's logs. Jeez Louise. I have a house here. I also have a dock chicken breeder, so we're going to be able to get that going too. Basically, we have a lot of things lined up. I'm seeing that there's logistics issues with the docks, and I don't think you can update or upgrade um, movement speed on any of this. Like You just can't. So we're going to have to think about that. But that can easily be alleviated by just putting some houses right next to your production. So we're, we're definitely going to test that out. If there's a little storage thing here for the docks, I need to put that up too. I know there's a marketplace. I did see that. Rice still. Oh my gosh. We need rice. Doc Wood Finder employs a vendor who goes out and brings wood to the storage, making it available for nearby dock construction. Huh. That would actually... <laughs> that would... Uh, I see what you did. That would actually alleviate some issues. But I don't have a whole lot of wood yet, so... You know, we may have to do trading and buy logs like put in a work order to purchase logs normally I don't do that but they don't bring very much <sighs> what was I gonna do I need storage housing markets market water shrine mender you know I'm gonna pause something real quick I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to test something out. So, I didn't have a chance to actually check that noise. And I have a feeling that, that it still might be an issue. Uh, you know, actually, I'm going to unpause it while I'm fiddling around over here. Hopefully it doesn't mess things up with the recording. Super professional! Come on now. There it is. Okay, perfect. Cool. So I just switched it out. I don't have my headphones on. I haven't heard issues with the recordings before, so I don't know. There'd be any now. How is this doing? With two people, this should be very, very productive. I think there should be an area to just drop these off. So we were just looking at this. Um, Water Shrine's going to be good. Dock Market. Small Market. Now, what's the difference here? Used to provide localized area for citizens to collect food. Tools, clothing, materials, and fuel used to provide small localized area for citizens to collect the exact same thing. One of them costs more. Oh, what is this? Oh, one of them is baby sized. Oh my gosh. All right, that's really freaking cool. I might have to. I might have to put like a, uh, a small barn in here and like raise a little chunk of land or something. Just see how that goes. So food's actually going up a little bit. So I could employ someone here, which I will, to start doing chicken breeding and all that business. We are building a house right here. They're doing it underwater. Like they're wearing ancient scuba gear. I thought I saw a bell there. I'm working on that. Can I turn this? I think there's one more thing for them to actually build. There we go. I do like to have the access point so that we don't get anything else screwy going on. Yep, there it is. Perfect. 
So now, oh, four people still need a house? See, the way this works with building on the water messes up the housing. It really does. Oh, man. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the way that's handled. I'm really not. But that's okay. We can we can deal. Not not the worst problem in the world. But definitely not the best. All right, tools did did not become a huge concern anymore, so that's nice. Um, overall, fuel is kind of an issue. Why are you cold? Go home. Oh, she's gonna die. <gasps> Wait, pause. Oh crap! I messed it up. I messed it up. Um, dang it. I messed it up. Oh no! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh my gosh, build it. Come on. Guys, let's go. She dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, I have to be so cautious about what I'm doing here. That one is completely on me. I killed someone over here. Look, this guy can't get off either. I, I do not understand these these uh, walk spaces as well as I'd like. Obviously. When in doubt, build a lot more. That's that's really the, the story here. There we go. Buddy can actually get out. I'm just going to build some housing here, too. Like, um, you know, because I've already killed one person. I might as well kill a few more. There's one. And then if I go here and I leave a gap, will that connect? See how these are butted up against each other? Will those just connect? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. That's a lot of wood. Let's just see that happens. Okay. So we're okay on tools, but we're actually out of iron. So we need to get that industry up and going. I have a lot of... Um, iron ore so you know that's good to go what I don't know is I don't really have an insight on everything that we have so let's go ahead and build our little town arrival like census thing we'll do it back here it's gonna cost us what logs yeah the thing that we kind of always seem to need um, we'll finish off these two houses we have food consistently through the winter which is pretty shocking but I'm also pretty excited about wow that's doing well that's doing really well and that's even with them running back and forth Kind of inefficiently, right? But uh, it's doing pretty well. All right, so we're a little low on fuel bundle business, so let's put another person here pulling reeds. Reserve of food is a little low. Okay, so we did just put two new houses in, so they pulled food as well. But they're they're going to continue to grow, which is a problem I always seem to have. Let's take a look at overall inventory. Fire bundles are down to zero, but I have 48 reeds, which means I probably can't make clothes from them. Huh. This is interesting. Playing it on speed 10 with these constraints is going to be a challenge, to say the least. Chicken dock. Yeah, we're making eggs, chicken, the whole nine yards. Like, we don't have to worry about stocking it and, and disease and going back and forth. So these guys seem to be able to go in and out just fine. So, that's interesting. Let's put a third person here. I know these dock fisheries are actually extremely good. And again, I don't think I can put any kind of barn or anything here. Yeah, this is this is water. But maybe I should test that out. Maybe I should just see if I can do that. Unless, you know what I haven't done yet? I haven't messed with I haven't messed with um, the marketplaces or anything like that. I don't think I want to do a big market because that's a lot of wood for one thing and two. If it doesn't work, I don't want to have to like build it and take it down and all that business. So why don't I do that here? Okay, it has its own exit entry kind of thing. So let's do that. And I think it's going to drop itself lower. Like if we look, it is a drop down. Okay, all right. So um, we could do a little more agriculture to help with food, but that's kind of out of the spirit of what we're trying to do here. Um, we need a lot more logs, and that's understandable. What else? What other industries do we currently have? We've got the, the reed farm, which you already did. We've got the fishery. We do have a water scavenger. Does that have a circle around it? No, it does not. So that's another source of food that we could do. We've got the dock workshop, which I do want to build. The rind, the, the rind still. No, the wine still. Oh, there's not enough stuff to actually bundle. How many people do I have working the farm? Yeah, I can only have one working that. How much does he pull out? Oh, wow, 600? It sounds like it's good. It sounds like a lot. Let's put one person here in the marketplace. Make life a lot easier. I wonder if the fish... Is it going directly here? Let's watch him. He picked up one. He's going to take it all the way over here, isn't he? If 
That guy's got fish. No, no, he is bringing it right here. Interesting. Okay, good. All right, so the market might actually alleviate my concerns about them going back and forth constantly. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. F food is going up. Let's check the charts here real quick. Um, wow, sorry. I feel I feel way more scatterbrained than I have ever been in the past. I'm definitely diving into new territory, and it's, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Let's just do a little camera switch. Take a look here. Housing, housing. Reed farm. Nice. Okay. So we don't have the stuff that we need for the blacksmith. So let's go ahead and drop that down to zero so that uh, we've got a general laborer. Let's build up the industry around um, getting tools. I like to have roads everywhere. Sue me. All right. Let's go back into blacksmith. Not smelter. We actually need a small fuel refinery. Now, part of the problem that we're having here is I'm not actually getting enough fuel being made. We're running out of reeds to do this. Um, and I really don't want to pull on the logs. And so if I have any other way to do that, I will. So let's build a let's build like two more reed farms. Yeah. You know, and, and I think it might be best if I do it like this. And I put something in between. So that I can continue to build out this way. Yeah, that's going to be for the best. And let's go here. Reed farm. Perfect. One. Leave a space. Two. There goes our reed farm. Now, I could do a shore house, but I want to kind of stay in the spirit of this right now. Because I think they're cool buildings, for one. But two, I think they actually cost less. Yeah, only 20 logs, whereas a shore house, I think, is 60. You can actually check that right now. Oh, it's 40. All right, so not, not the worst. So let's get another person working that so we can get some reeds. In fact, I'm, I'm probably just going to employ all three. I've got the extra laborers. Let's just do it. Food is actually looking phenomenal right now. It's going up. If we look at production, we're outproducing by 200, almost 300. Which right now at this level, you know, we only have 34 citizens. That's fantastic. So let's get another person in here with reeds. And let's get another person over here at the fishing dock. Yeah, looking good. 12, 1300. We, we, with one person, we doubled. Whoa. That just dawned on me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty impressive. All right, so um, overall fuel is going to increase. But can we use bundles to actually make furnace fuel? So we're going to use some stone here. And in fact, what I probably should do is get, get my mines up real quick, just so I don't forget, because that might actually happen. So let's look at that as well. Stone and salt mine. All right, what, what do I have here? Oh, that's my farm. Derp. That's my farm, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's my stone and salts, and then this will be for iron. I will build it down here. It's going to take a lot of logs. We are going to cut down some just to make room for all this, but I'll, I'll queue up a little extra harvest to make sure we're not hurting for them. Okay, so furnace fuel. Uh, it will take fire bundles. Interesting. Yeah, I've just never done it this way. This is this is wild. So for an entire season, we barely made enough to hit our limit, though. Right? Actually, our limit's even higher. So I think part of that was we did run out of reeds. Right? Um, where do the reeds go? Do they go in here? Yeah, they do. And they also go to the market. We've got a few reeds there, too. I do have two people working this, which is going to help. So logs are low. Yeah, log, that's what those two warnings are. Logs are currently low. So these will be built... We'll need to put in a stockpile. Actually, there's one right there, so we're probably fine. We've got a lot of iron ore. We're, all, we're halfway down our tools right now, though, so that's kind of concerning. Um, I guess I could just have one person start working on the firewood. Can I increase this any more? I can't. I can only have two people on the bundling shed. Let's check the total number of reeds that we currently have. 228. It seems like they're just not able to process them quickly. So let's run in here. Let's do another bundling shed. Gonna work over here to bundling shed. That's right. 30 and 10. Very nice. Okay, so these are built. I don't have enough people for them yet, so I'm just gonna put them on not work. This is maxed out for materials. I'm gonna go ahead and put this at 2,000 because I always, I always just add another zero on there. We need them. So the logs are very indicative of what we have because I'm not using them for fuel. That's the benefit of what's happening right now. So that's good. 
Well, that's marked as firewood. Let's do fire bundles. We're going to start burning through that stuff real quick. Once the iron miners finish, they will come over here and do this uh, bundling shed as well. I probably need to make a couple more homes, but I'm a little concerned. I don't want to. I don't want to kick ourselves in the face. So I have nine homes and 17 families. I found that this number is not a one for one. It's more like, you know, 75% of this is what you should have in homes. So I should probably have like 12 homes, 12, 13 homes. Um, just FYI, I don't think that's a one for one ratio of if it says 20, you need 20 homes or uh, 20 additional homes or whatever. I don't think that's uh, the way it currently works. What else does this use? Corn, sugarcane. Oh, wow. We have a. If we get sugarcane, that would grow like crazy. Bundles of candles. Really? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, let's put. You know what? Let's max this out. I want to see what three reed farmers and two full, you know, four total people working on the bundling shed is going to give us for fuel. Because we've got a lot of that stuff right now. We're good to go. Um, I should actually go ahead while I'm thinking about it as well and put in a, an apiary. That's not something that we can build on the docks. And we'll do that over here. And the reason I want to do that is I need the beeswax to make candles and whatnot. Let's go ahead and map out a few of our roads. And there we go. Very nice. Over this way and across. All right, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to let that all build up. I'm I'm kind of having fun, to be honest. Not that I don't always have fun in Banish. Like, Banish is an amazing game. But uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun building this up. Thinking through tackling these things differently has been a real um, a spark for me tonight. It's like it's been pretty pretty fun. I'm doing doing all these recordings at the same time. I added another person in here to work the Forester's Lodge, which makes me think too I should probably just put another house out here. And um and also a well. <laughs> Cause I don't want to screw that up. Let's be honest. I've had that happen. Yikes. I think we have all had that happen. Seriously. Alright, there we go. More homes. Okay, thanks everybody for joining. I do appreciate it. Um this has been very interesting. I think I'm going to record a few more. Keep going on this. There's a couple things that are already pointing out to me right now is our health is really bad and our happiness is bad. So food is starting to stabilize. Actually, food's like been phenomenal. So we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with uh, tools and get that industry going. Let's get the bare necessities and then we'll start thinking about industry next. So thanks everybody for joining. See you guys next time.